It's called the most exclusive party in the world after the Academy Awards Sunday. There's one place you'll find Hollywood's best A-list, the Vanity Fair Oscar Party. It is now 20 years old, and CBS News is going behind the scenes. Here's a preview of what you'll see in a special tomorrow night. John, 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 John. The Vanity Fair Oscar Party is like the Oscar party. That's where everybody goes. Hi, Vanity Fair. <laughs> It's like one of those cartoons where they draw all the little celebrities' faces and they bunch them together in one room. This is what a real Hollywood party is all about. The Oscars was a dinner originally. Then, I guess in 1958, you had the Governor's Ball. And then in 1964, Swifty Lazar decided he wanted to make a statement of his social power and decided to put together his own Oscar party. And it was a very, you know, it was a very sort of small industry affair. Well, in 1993, Swifty dies. And uh, I took it over with Steve Tisch, and I had no idea what I was doing. And then year by year, it just grew and grew and grew. It starts out with the invitation. There's nothing better than the, that invitation to Vanity Fair. You're getting the invitation is, is a sign that you matter this year. Uh, I have never been offered a bribe, but I know my staff members have been. The Vanity Fair party is more exclusive than the Oscars. You're greeted by this amazing wall of press. Hi, Vanity Fair. You know, young Hollywood, Hollywood royalty, legendary Hollywood. You see, like, oh, it's Jack Nicholson, and it's Clint Eastwood, and it's Steven Spielberg. Holy smokes! Here comes, uh, here comes everybody. I look over, and there's Sidney Poitier, and like, wow. And then there's Morgan Freeman, and like, wow. The great thing about the party too, I think, is that it's not just Hollywood. We've got, you know, New York society. We have politics. There's sports people. There's musicians. How you doing, Ben? Prince was there when he was, had a lollipop. One year we had, I think, Joni Mitchell, Cher, Katie Lang, and Madonna. The Vanity Fair party reaches a critical mass right about 11.15. That's when all the winners are there. The year that Mel Gibson won for uh, Braveheart, he arrived holding an Oscar in each hand, and he was accompanied by a contingent of bagpipes. I remember the traffic was, really, the limos were really backed up, and so um, I just got out and walked. And I was carrying the Oscar, and it hit me that, you know, some of my life would be different. Where's the party? And the CBS News special, Vanity Fair's Hollywood, airs tomorrow night at 10, non-central, right here on CBS.